I wanted to say a little bit, but um, this is this might get complicated because I found something new on the on the interwebby. This this machine isn't isn't really connected now. I, I can't tweet at the moment for other reasons, but I've I've checked out a, f a few things. Um, Kendall Castle, the ruins of the Fortress University, has got two seats just outside it. Um, on the south side, there's a there's a marketing kind of seat, um, but Scott Galloway isn't isn't saying it isn't saying anything at the moment. I sort of base the characters on real characters, but later on, if it becomes a a, a proper play, uh, I'll have to develop the characters a bit, or I'll have to find somebody else to to do it. Um, in, when there was um, a, a fringe festival of a uh, theatre event in the first one um, downstage right were prepared to write a play for you for a pound it wasn't wasn't a very long play but I may have may have to ask them again to do do something but I, I'm still working on on versions of uh, a play set in the ruins of the Fortress University and Ken Kendall's definitely the setting for it um, but S Scott Galloway seems to have forgotten about learning and universities and so forth. He re he wrote a book during the during the lockdown um, about all the all the changes that were going on. And some of it still comes into his podcasts or his um his it's not a podcast because it's on video. But he do, he, do, he does uh, basically stock. He follows the stocks and all the ed tech ones have collapsed and there's no sign of anything else happening um, so by the way there, there, there's lots of good reasons for academics to have doubts about jumping into all this stuff um, but anyway on the other side on the north side there's another seat because there was a siege part, part of the the early part of the the play about the ruins starts off with a siege so there are there is loads of people inside the walls who are carrying on as normal, but these these people doing talks outside the walls. Um, so one of them was was about the marketing of it all and the costs. Um, but the one the the techie one, this other seat, Do Donald Clark was my model because he he's been right publishing books about artificial intelligence or. Um, interfaces, user interfaces, engagement, there's various, various words for it, um, but also doing a blog and I think that's, although the siege failed, you could say after, after lockdown on, on for, you, for the UK campus in general and just guessing from Exeter what you can make out and other places you can see, everything went back to normal. Um, the siege failed, in other words, um, but artificial intelligence has sort of come back. I think it's being taken quite quite seriously. So I I've sort of imagined that reviving. Quite what the sequence is, I don't, I'm not sure. Got got to got to work that out. But I thought I thought, and this is going back to reality now. I thought I'd just check out what Donald Clark is is um, writing about at the moment. He has a blog. If you, it, all, all one word, Donald, Donald Clark, that's D Donald and then C L A R K, no, there's no E in, in this, plan B dot blogspot dot com. And the one, the, it, one, one of his most recent posts is about empathy, um, whether doctors or uh, ro robots masquerading as doctors or teachers can, can show empathy. And he he thinks they probably can, or at least whatever it is they're showing is is m more consistent than might be expected from a mere human being. He's 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 very um, very uh, optimistic about the AI project, but th this is this is what interests me most. But at the mo just at the moment, because I on Twitter I I have disputed with him about Brexit. He he's um, he's in favour of Brexit, and. He's a, he's, he hasn't spelt that out in this blog, um, 
but he's pointing out that there could be now a digital divide in AI between the EU and the rest of the world because um, Twitter has opted out of EU voluntary code of practice and Facebook and Google are not releasing AI Bard for example I, d I hadn't realised face Facebook there's, there must be bits of Facebook that get released every so often and are in fact a a AI so I, I, didn't, I didn't understand that completely um, but Bard that's, that's clear is it's just not available or some aspect quite a lot of Bard is not available in with the inside the EU and that's that the, my, my idea of writing a play is to, is to find bits and pieces that are um, forum forum drama so you can set up dramatic situations on a, on at a venue or, or in the case of radio just as sound so if you if you if you've got views on any of this just, just send in mp3 or send a link or something uh, will 789 GB on Twitter um, you may end up in my play which is Creative Commons at the moment but if I have to get somebody else to do it and so forth you may, you may end, end up copyrighted but uh, you, you've been warned um, oh verbatim yeah so there's forum theatre verbatim theatre so you, verbatim you just take bits and pieces and put that in another format uh, if you are a proper playwright please get in touch because I just say these things I'm gradually working out as I go, as I go along uh, but that's that's very interesting the idea that you the continent of Europe where where a lot of universities originated um, is gonna miss out to some extent on AI and it also explains where, where Donald Clark is, is coming from because his, his enthusiasm for technology progress and uh, globalization I like that's that, is that a word that relates he's, he's unfortunately he's blocked me on on Twitter because I, I, I I'm not a fan of brexit but I can see there's something worth worth discussing in in that in that in that situation uh,